y'all, those that are my true subscribers that can handle the truth, that can handle um, real conversation without getting butt hurt or within their feelings or feel insecure because someone is keeping it real and it's just too real for them. Um, those of you that are secure, please, let's have this conversation. Let's, I'm excited to, to talk about this topic. Fake ass bitches. Jeffree Star is one of the most pathetic, fake ass hoes I've ever met. Oh, I've never met him. I've never met him. Thank God. Um, Jeffree Star is one of the most pathetic, dumbass, miserable, lonely morsels of a human being. It's so disgusting that you keep saying, oh, I change, I change, I change. And we see the same shit. Now, I did make a video about James Charles being a predator. And you don't be telling people that you love straight boys because young boys that idolize you are thinking the straight boys is what they want. And they're not going to have security and they will get killed and they will get beat and they will get, uh, they will get turned on in society depending on their neighborhood. You know, he reaches millions of people. Great success, uh, James Charles. You reach millions of people. Um, they, they can get hurt. And I still stick by that. My video had nothing to do with their drama. But right now, this is what I'm tired about. I like watching Jeffree Star videos. I like seeing a faggot like myself. You know, I never started from the bottom. But I mean, we all kind of have to start. If you're going to be a self-made person, you have to start, you know, on your own. Luckily, I had help with an amazing family. But it's like, I like seeing a faggot, like, do they thing. Like, I like seeing a faggot go against the grain and, you know achieve amazing things but what just got after watching this apology video i'm just like you are utter trash jeffrey star trash and you want to know why i can say he's trash how do you keep making fucking apology videos over the same fucking thing it was tati's drama why the fuck did you insert yourself in it like you wanted to bring down this boy who probably had more success than you. He's 16, being a pillar in society, you know, doing his damn thing. I could care less. I don't buy any of their makeup, so I really couldn't care less. But to watch this pathetic-ass video, I'm sorry for the millionth time for doing the same fucking thing. And I said I changed. I said I'm not a racist no more. I said the most racist shit. I call Mexicans roaches. I call black people apes. Whatever it is. Well, Jeffree Star, you look like a fucking horse. Actually, you look like a white urinal. If you guys look at those urinals in the bathroom, his face looks like a urinal. So you can call me an ape. You can call me a gorilla. Okay, I'd rather be an ape than a urinal. I don't know, I'd rather be an ape than looking like a horse, okay? So... It's just so sad that, you know, you want to look up to this person like, yes, Jeffrey, that amazing, beautiful closet, that amazing, beautiful closet that is worth millions and millions of dollars that is paid to you by your loyal, loyal fans, loyal, loyal consumers that are proud of you that will just buy shit even if it's doo-doo. They will buy it just because I love Jeffrey Star. It's so sad that you're still that miserable punk ass bitch that says, I'm in a happy relationship with a straight man. Lying to yourself. Just how you lied to yourself and said that you changed. You're lying to yourself. You're saying Nathan is straight. Like it literally, you know, Nathan is cute. Nathan is handsome. You know, I personally think he a gold digger. But that's my opinion. I don't know their relationships. I'm not going to go too much in their relationship. But obviously, Jeffrey, you are very miserable. Because happy hoes ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. So it's just like, if you a happy hoe, 
why you hating? Why can't you just be like the rest of us and sip this tea? Be like, oh, bitch. Ah, you know, like, oh, no, you had to insert yourself. And now that it could be detrimental to you before you start losing all your subscribers, before you start, it starts affecting your business. Now you want to hurry up and jump in. Oh, because it look good with, with James receipts. James receipts look real good. But James, you still are a predator because you said in those text messages, I'm so shocked that you're straight. I'm so, I mean, I'm so shocked that you're bi. I'm so shocked that you're bi. I thought you were straight. And so I'm super shocked that you're straight. Um, but I still was flirting. I apologize for all the flirting I was doing. So why are you apologizing for flirting when you said you're shocked as man is straight? So you kept chasing this dude. You kept uh, preying on this dude, even though you thought he was straight. And now you're shocked that he's bi. So no matter what, you're still a predator, bitch. Anyways, but everything else, James, do your thing. Jeffrey, do your thing. But stop being a fake-ass bitch when shit starts to come to your brand. Now you want to start kissing hoes' asses. You keeping it real pathetic. You keeping it real bummy. You keeping it real stupid. And, like, I would rather be mediocre or middle class and be happy than to be rich and have a big-ass house, big-ass closet, and be absolutely miserable. Only miserable people concoct bullshit. Why would you go... Like, you're old. You're almost a senior citizen. Like, you're closer to being a senior citizen than you are to being uh, an adolescent. So, why in the hell would you still be doing the same dumb ass shit that you've apologized a million times for? Guess what, bitch? You still a racist. You still all the shit that people say. And, you know, and I try to give you the benefit of the doubt. Like, oh, Jeffrey's changed. Jeffrey's changed. My subscribers, my 3,000 subscribers, who I'm so proud to have all 3,000 of y'all. I don't care if it's not a million. I love the 3,000 real subscribers that I have. I love that we have each other's back. We talk, y'all correct me in times. And if y'all ask me for advice, I love that shit. I love that real shit. I'm not trying to sell you no brand. I'm not giving you a coupon code. I'm not over here telling you to kiss society's ass, kiss a uh, big corporation's ass. You know, no, I'm here for the people and I will always be here for the people. You guys, do what you want to do. Follow him, love him, you know, buy all his shit. Good, great. I have nothing to say about that. If it make you happy, I love it. I love it. But what I'm saying, I'm fucking tired of a grown ass adult perpetuating, perpetuating immature, adolescent, high school, dumbass drama because you're absolutely pathetic. And then you want to say, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all, aren't y'all glad that y'all have a nice life where you're not jumping into the fray and don't know what the fuck you're talking about? And then now you're trying to eat crow? Bitch, shut up. Like, it's sad. You said this over and over and over and over again. Jeffree Star, you haven't changed. You just proved it. You keep putting out these dumbass apology videos for the same fucking shit that you said that you would never do. I was in a dark hole. I was in a dark place. Well, start being happy. Start being positive. Stop being negative. Stop trying to do stuff. And I'm glad James Shaw put you in your place and let you, let you know you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. My brother wasn't even talking about you. Uh, you're so egotistical that you think our world revolves around you. Bitch, you guys are on YouTube. You guys don't pay our bills. You guys don't, you know, uh, meet us in hospitals. You guys don't cut our lawns. You guys don't wash our dishes. You guys don't help us in a time of need. So why do you, you guys are just pure entertainment. That's all you guys are is pure entertainment, but our lives are not affected. Oh, Charles and Jay and Jeffrey. Oh, what do we do? Bitch, it's just fun to look at and kick and laugh. Like, oh, ha, 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 ha. To, to take us away from our struggles. But Jeffrey, I'm glad I never bought none of your shit. I will never buy none of your shit. I know that you're racist. I know that you haven't changed. You're giving a fake ass apology to protect yourself because until it came out that you are a, a bully, that you're a, a predator yourself, I'm so glad James let you know. Bitch, Jeffrey's a predator too, girl. Jeffrey's a predator too, honey, because guess what? LA is small and I work in the entertainment industry and I've heard some things, okay? So I've heard some things about Miss Jeffrey. Um, so y'all... Yeah. That's why I will never delete. I don't care if my video is controversial. You guys need to know that's the truth and that's how I feel. You guys cannot make me change. You guys don't pay my bills. You guys don't buy products from me. I'm just here being a social person, letting you guys know it's okay to be yourself. I'm living for me. I'm not living for YouTube. I'm not living for, you know, uh, other people in the world. 
So you guys, stop following these fake ass bitches that sell you these dumb ass products and they go kiss your ass because they don't want to lose damn money and they want to keep being miserable. You're going to keep being miserable because you keep being fake. You keep saying you're keeping it real. No, you being a miserable ass bitch and you hating on people. And so now, uh, you, because you, because you, because you acting out like a fucking idiot and you talking shit about people that you don't. You talking about shit about situations that you're not privy to. Why would you, like, what adult would sit there and say, I know this happened, I know this, because I is hearsay. If I haven't seen shit for myself, I just won't talk about it, okay? And when I talked about James Charles saying, uh, being here a predator, it's because we, those those, we see those tweets. As far as the business and the uh, not whatever, I can care less about. Only thing is, I'm gay. I don't want young gay boys thinking that it is okay to trace straight men. Because you guys saw my Instagram story, my friend who got stabbed in his stomach 57 times dealing with a down low man. Okay, dealing with a down low man who was scared to come out and felt that he had to kill my friend so he would never have to worry about coming out. I will insert the videos at the hospital when I went to go visit this friend. So you guys, stop believing these pathetic hoes with fake ass agendas to benefit them financially and they don't give a fuck about what y'all think or what y'all say. They're gonna kiss your ass so that you can still keep their lights on, keep their Maseratis and their Lamborghinis uh, from the repo man. I feel so sad that I cannot believe anything Jeffree Star says because you said you've changed um, for over a decade. For over a decade, you've been apologizing and been doing the same fucking thing. Jeffree Star, you are the most miserable horse I've ever seen. Like, literally, girl. Like, you must be one of them horses that's from the Santa Anita racetrack, you know, that they mistreat him because, baby, you're pathetic. It's so sad. Like, who would want to be in Calabasas, big ass house, and be miserable? Don't say you happy and Nathan just, oh, Nathan, 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 Nathan. Bitch, please. <laughs> Because if you if Nathan was so good, you should be too busy in that bed with Nathan that you could give a fuck a less about a situation that has nothing to do with you, girl. You and Nathan should be so damn busy, honey, that y'all he didn't worry you out. And you, ooh, oh, ooh, baby, ooh, ooh what? Ooh, baby, please let's let's chill so we can go for round two. Anyways, y'all, that's all I have to say. I'm just tired of this fake ass shit. Me. I mean what I say. I will never apologize if I don't mean it. If I apologize, it's because I really mean it. If all you guys want to unfollow me, if all you guys don't want to like me, that's okay because my life still goes on. And I have real people in my life, real family, real friends. My subscribers that are loyal to me, that we talk to all the time on Instagram, my DMs, and we keep it real personal, not just in the comments for, oh, looks or it looks cool. And we keeping it real in the comments and uh, the DMs. Booze, I love you guys so much. And um, yeah, like and subscribe, dislike. Let's talk. Let's have a conversation. Love you guys. Mwah. Even the haters too.